Hi friends, this is Lana the Comedian Medium. I am bringing you the Aquarius Pisces bonus reading mid-month. Uh, what I got to tell you, whatever it has to be, to, whatever the cards are telling you for the month, the rest of the February and the beginning of March. Please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading or hypnosis. Um, also visit EnchantedSky.com and you can book a reading there. And you can visit thewisewomansage.com. That's my, my blog. Um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I'm Ella Hartgraw in most of them. Um, Facebook, I'm Lana, uh, the painting medium. It's taken me a year, over a year, to try to change this. I also paint. I'm an art teacher. So let's see what we get on this this week, this month here, as we look at this better. And a message. Maybe there's something that no one's telling you. This is interesting, and I'll show you why in a second. Now, being a cusp reading, you know, I think a lot of people don't understand cusps. And cusps are from the 18th to the 23rd of a month. Well, these also can be just for pi Aquarius or just for Pisces. It's kind of what message you get from them. Now, for the people that are both, you're getting two messages sometimes at the same time. Or maybe you're leaning. Okay. I know that I am the 19th of December. That is my birthday. But I also know that I'm extremely Capricorn. I lean towards Capricorn. So I do have a tendency to watch some of the Capricorn um Readings and, and, you know, so that you understand that you don't have to be a cusp, but just watch these. So anyway, and, and last month, um, Aquarius was getting justice. So this may be pushing a little bit more Aquarian than Pisces, but at the same time, eh, I don't know. Anyway, so something's ending. All right. It's happening in this month of our Mercury in retrograde. This is kind of a Mercury in retrograde reading is what I've been kind of doing. You know, if nobody knows anything about Mercury in retrograde, I want to hide during Mercury in retrograde. But I do know that in my sign, and you may need to look this up. I'll be trying to maybe post it on here. Um, some Mercury in retrogrades won't affect you at all. The only good Mercury in retrograde I've ever had is when it's been in my own sign. And so... Um, you know, I, I've i been told, I did a little research, that it shouldn't bother certain signs. I am one of them. It should not be that bad. For some people, it can be horrible. It depends on, and it also depends on where your moon and rising sign lay. So you might want to look those up too. You just There's calculators on the internet. You, you can figure them. Because those three signs are real important. Anyway, so... You guys are getting some justice and something's ending. And this is good. This is, you've got a creative, you've got your, you're getting your wish. You're almost to a point you're smug about it. You know, you're getting your wish and it's creative. This is a creative endeavor. This is something that you have wanted for so long and you are waiting for your ships to come in about the whole thing. Okay. And don't think though, it's not a lot of hard work. You're working hard. <laughs> okay. You know, you're standing your ground. You're, you're, you know, I want to say that something has happened for you. That's so positive. See, you got a message coming. You got two messages coming. So in the month of, of February towards the end, you've got a message. And I want to say that this is electronic. So, or it could be even something to do with electronics. I guess it could be a telephone call. I mean, it's electronics. I know. But anyway, you have a message coming in your favor and you're cutting through crap about it. And not only is it a message of cutting through crap and being strong, but it's a message of love. There's love involved in all this. Okay. Which means it's well balanced. You know, that's why you have the justice card here. Okay. Um, you could be getting a settlement. You could be awaiting for something. You could be waiting for some, the ju a judge to make a decision on something. I want to say that, I want to say for most of you that 
This is something you've waited for, but it's kind of esoteric. It's kind of, it's more spiritual for some of you, I guess I could say. Um, it's something that you've wanted for a long time. You've worked hard at. I don't know how tangible it is. It's more of a, it's mental, it's creative. It's, you know, it's something that you've always wanted to do and never had the opportunity. And the, the karma is laying properly for you. This, so it looks to me like you're going to have a great Mercury in retrograde. Okay. Uh, Mercury in retrograde is in Pisces. So Pisces people, I know when my work Mercury was in retrograde, it was awesome. I've had it happen a couple of times. And every time it's not been, I haven't, because usually in re Mercury in retrograde, you either get your, your car breaks down, <laughs> you break a cell phone, you get some type of weird news, like you, oh, you owe money that you didn't know. You know, it also is a time for you to revisit stuff because it appears like things are going backwards. And I know in the middle of the night during Mercury retrograde, I have literally woken up and remembered things from when I was five years old. Things that I hadn't kind of completely was just carrying around and hadn't really healed. And it gives you your chance to do that too. But for Mercury, but, but being Mercury in retrograde in Pisces looks like, look at this. I mean, come on. You've got some great stuff. Oh my God, look at this. Wow. Um, I'm a Pisces moon, by the way, so I kind of paid attention too. So, um, and by the way, most Pisces, if you are a Pisces, you are psychic. I don't know if people know that. A lot of people may not know that, but Pisces people are automatically psychic intuitives. Um, it has, and it's in your chart, you're automatic. So if it's your sun, your moon, or your rising, I thought I would tell people that because sometimes they're like, really? I didn't know that. Really? Yes, really. Okay. But you've got, I mean, you can't get any better cards in the deck. Um, I could get a sun card. That's, that's the last one. I mean, I could get, it couldn't get any better. Um, look at this. You've got, you're getting your wish. Now, some people may be getting into a relationship. They may be, um, signing contracts because I want like, like a business, um, getting in business with somebody. Um, getting, there may be a, a, a baby coming. There may be, um, a marriage coming there because there's a happy family. You can't get any better than this. This is like the ultimate. I'm real pleased for you. I'm very happy for you. I'm grateful. So I know of a few things in my own life and I pay attention to my Pisces readings because I'm like, like I said, I'm a moon and I know of something happening and this goes right along with it. And I know it does. And anybody that tells you that you can read for yourself is full of crap because you can't really read for yourself. It's hard. I may get a few cards, but I can't really get exactly um, because we're too emotionally involved. And also uh, God blocks us from looking at some of them because he doesn't always want us to know the bad stuff. But when something good stuff comes this way, just you, it, it settles you down it brings you peace. And I'm telling you that this is a really good reading. I mean, look at, look at all this. Uh, I mean, look at that. Okay. So justice, fair, you're getting your wish. You've got, I know somebody having a child and I know they're, if they're doing March, I, I'm betting that this is what for me personally, I bet that's what this is. Um, because there is a happy family here. So for me, all right, for the rest of you, I'm, I feel like some people might be moving or something. They might be moving in and out, in or out, something, something about moving. Anyway, um, my, my suggestion is Mercury in retrograde to gather your karma. Okay. Gather your karma, which means you know, if you've been doing all this great stuff and then, you know, you're waiting for your karma, this is the time to make some action because you've got justice on your side, okay? And you're waiting for your ships to come in and you're you're willing to work for it. It's not like you're not willing to work for anything that I'm talking about. So, um, and you have put the hard work in. That's what usually with this card, it's a card of hard work. Um, and you've put it in. It also can be standing your ground. And so... 
your ship's coming in. <laughs> your ship's, you're waiting for your ship to come in or your ship is coming in. Okay. Yay. I'm so happy for you guys. Okay. Um, like with that said, I'm going to lay some, um, animal Oracle cards for you guys to think about too. Wow. This is, this is a good reading. Now this is more towards the end of March. So, um, or I mean, excuse me, February, beginning of March, um, Mercury in retrograde ends on the 7th of March. So for you, take advantage of it because it looks good to me. Okay. <laughs> Stand your ground. Isn't that funny? No, actually, there it isn't funny. The things in my life, the way things are uh, idiosyncrasies and, you know, um, all kinds of odd things just seem to come in their alignment there. Um, so look at stand your ground. That's what I just said. You know, make your decision go forward. See, look at <laughs> be bold and take charge. This is exactly what I'm like. Now, be always be grateful for what you have because you have much more than you think you do at times. So always, I always look for something to be thankful for every single day. And it helps me be more positive. Okay. Here, really immerse yourself in your imagination. And I just got a creative card. See how we go? Oh, you're come, getting ready for a big breakthrough. Let go and let go of control. Don't kind of control this. This is karmic. This is something that's meant to happen. Um, there's a series of things in your life that you have a choice on, okay? But then there's things that are predestined. And what's going on for you right now has to do with karma and your des your 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 destiny. So whatever it is, let me know. I'm interested. Okay. I respond to every single thing anybody says to so and I do read them all day long. So and uh, the positivity has been overwhelming, you guys. So it's been awesome. Yeah, I've gotten a couple of trolls. I got a couple of trolls. I got a troll yesterday that was arguing about me because they act like I'm stupid or something. I know nothing about uh, crystals and science when I taught science at the college level. Yeah, okay, whatever. I kind of blocked them. I'm like, whatever. So anyway, blessings. Um, blessings, my friends. Um, hit like and subscribe. And I'd like to hear from you. I kind of want to know what happens through your your Mercury and Retrograde. So let me know. Namaste.